What is going on everybody? This is Stryker welcoming you to a tutorial on how to make an auto exec file in CSGO. So this has been requested a couple of times by people who have been to my bybinds video. So if you've missed that, go ahead and check that out. That way you can create a whole set of custom bybinds for the beginning of the round. But some people do have some difficulties getting those to work and an auto exec file is how you go around this. So you can also put any other type of commands that you want. You can put anything into an auto exec file. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your library and games, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, right click, properties. Then you go to the tab up here at the top, local files, and then you're going to browse local files. So I'm just going to go ahead and full screen that. So you're going to go into your CSGO folder, then your CFG folder. So I have my auto exec file here. This is what is inside of mine. This is basically just how I do my scoreboard. Whenever I hit and hold tab or the scoreboard key, it'll bring up the net graph with it. And I think it's really nice that way I don't have to keep it on the screen at all time. But anyways, if you want to use this, go ahead and copy this. Otherwise, let me teach you how to make one. So right click, new, and then you're going to make a text document. So you're going to want to name this auto exec dot txt. So that will be just like you want the file to look like, but obviously there's a different extension here. This is a CFG file, this is a text document, but you have to start with the text document. So then once you're within your auto exec text, you can just double click it and it'll pull it up on notepad. You just type in command, you know, command one, enter, command two, enter, more commands, blah, 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 right? Okay, so then once you're done with that, you're going to hit file, save as so now you have another menu and instead of it saying text documents down here is save as type you're going to want to change it to all files then you can just get rid of the txt extension and put cfg and that will make it into an auto exec file and that will run whenever you start a counter strike now Sometimes, oops, let me just delete the whole file. Sometimes people have an issue with not being able to allow the, the auto exec file to run. So you would open up this config file. It'll most likely just open up a notepad, but if it asks you otherwise, just open it in notepad. Um, then you would just put under here and you would put exec and then auto exec.cfg. And then you would save this as well. So. I don't need to do that, some people do, and there is also another place that this config file could be located. Steam changed it when they updated recently, so you're going to want to go to Steam, right? So this PC, local disk, or whatever your, your disk is, <laughs> program files, Steam, then you're going to go to user data, whichever your user ID is, I don't know why I have two of them, but it's this top one, then it's your 730 folder, local. CFG, and then this is where that config file is also located. For some people, this is the only place that it's located. So if that is your solution, then go for it. Your, your file should be able to run just because it is an auto exec file. You shouldn't have to put it into the config. Uh, but if you do, then just go ahead and do that. It's no big deal. So anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this whole tutorial. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section down below, and I will pretty much always respond to every comment unless it's really stupid. So don't think your question's going to be stupid, but if someone's like, wow, you suck, I'm not going to respond to that because that's dumb. But anyways, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will help you guys to the best of my ability. And otherwise, hopefully this helped you out. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.